All right, well, let's watch this unfold. There we see them exiting the plane right now, and there we see their family members, and we're hearing the cheers. For us, this breaking news footage of Laura Ling and Yuna Lee's dramatic homecoming seems like ancient history. But to Ling, this day in August 2009 couldn't be more vivid. Sometimes I do think back on it, and I think that's not, is that what happened to me? I mean, that's not really what happened to me. That should be a scene out of a movie. It, it was a story good enough to make a New York Times best-selling book called Somewhere Inside. In it, Laura and her sister, renowned journalist Lisa Ling, document what they went through while Laura was held in captivity in North Korea. Now, Laura enjoys meeting admirers and travels the country speaking about the experience. And I just hope that if I can, you know, do something positive with my experience to help others, then, you know, that's what I should be doing. In March 2009, Ling and Yuna Lee were in northern China working on a documentary about Koreans fleeing desperate conditions there. They illegally entered the border into China and within moments they were captured. You, know, you take appropriate precautions, but sometimes at the end of the day, you know, things happen that you could never have planned for. The two were later tried and convicted. During the tumultuous time, Ling says thinking about her family kept hope alive. Thinking about how much I knew they were doing to bring me home and, and knowing that they would never give up, knowing that they would maintain hope and just that thought of, you know, being reunited with them. For five long months, Ling says she didn't know if this emotional reunion we watched on national TV would ever happen. We fear that at any moment we could be sent to a hard labor camp. And then suddenly we were told that we were going to a meeting. When we walked in through the doors, we saw standing before us President Bill Clinton. <laughs> Looking back, she says it's hard to find the words to describe how she felt when she first saw the former president. I did feel like I was g being given my life back, and I felt like it was this guardian angel that had just been sent down to rescue us. The experience will always be fresh in Ling's mind. She says she learned the lesson of freedom, and now she wants to share her hard-learned lesson with the rest of the nation.